two questions here. First one from Esteban. FSR 2 on console is terrible. Having said that, Ouch. balanced or quality mode on PC is not that far off from DLSS or XESS outside of specific issues. Just sort of seeing Alex turning red there. Uh, so given that on the PS5 Pro, developers will have the extra horsepower to push a higher base resolution and therefore not use performance or alt for performance FSR 2, do you still expect to see a massive difference against PSSR? I still think it's great Sony is doing it so they don't have to rely on AMD, but given PSSR will only work on PS5, I imagine many developers will keep choosing FSR simply because of the simplicity of that. Uh, being something that they have to implement elsewhere anyway. Uh, Phil Walker says, Hi DF crew, I was hoping that machine learning upscaling would ultimately reduce the cost of future consoles ah. using smaller GPUs and lower native resolutions to save on hardware costs. Imagine Series S like spec with a PSSR solution. Is this a realist realistic thought or are manufacturing costs now simply too high to go back? Alex, can you tackle wow. Esteban's question? Mm, um, these, are, these are good questions. Uh, wow. I would say just really quickly at Phil, I would have loved that future because, uh, you know, in terms of you need a smaller GPU, but you get more out of it. Uh, the transistors that you're spending on something like a tensor core are like more direct. They're more energy efficient than running the same thing on compute, which kind of ties into the FSR4 thing we were talking about earlier uh, for battery life. I would have loved that future, but I think the cost of manufacturing, just any sort of specialized small SOC is super expensive. So, and it's a new chip that's competing with other people using the same process. It's just, it just didn't, come out that way. But I disagree with Esteban on FSR2 being better in balanced or quality mode in some sort of uh, like more comparable way to XCSS or DLSS just because go back to that video that we just put out about PS5 Pro where I show Ratchet and Clank uh, versus PSSR and pay attention to when I look at the the audience and as well as Ratchet moving. It's like a two second clip of very low movement in the entire image just like a couple of things moving. And you can already see larger differences there. And FSR2 falls apart in motion regardless of quality level because of the way it does reconstruction. This like reactive mask, whatever, the way it's like rejecting pixels and keeping the old ones. It just it doesn't do movement well. It's just that the issues become smaller maybe in screen space to a certain degree, the more internal resolution is given to it. Mm. Uh, but it's still there and I th especially, you know, it won't fix the way FSR2 handles particles. The more resolution you throw at it, it'll still do that. A lot of things. It still doesn't fix like the core aspects of it. And I think that is a big upgrade for PSSR and it should not be looked at lightly. I think a lot of people like, didn't like FSR2 particularly when it's in motion. Um, okay. But uh, yeah, I think FSR won't go away anytime soon. We still have PS5 and we still have Xbox Series X and S. So it's going to be here for the next. Four to five years, easily, if not longer. Yes. Okay, John. <laughs> oh, I don't really have too much to add to that. I think Alex, you kind of, <laughs> yeah. you kind of locked that down. <laughs> <laughs> I think looking at Phil's comment, um, absolutely, uh, machine learning is going to be a key component of the next generation of consoles, and I think you know, for Sony, PS5 Pro is very much a sort of tryout for that because mm -hmm. you know, if you think about all of the. Uh, the companies out there working with AI. Microsoft have got a lot going on that we don't know about, I suspect. We've, we've seen Auto SR, which, you know, based on the limited scope it has to upscale, I think is quite impressive. If they can actually marry that with um, the inputs of like DLSS and PSSR, there could be some really interesting stuff happening there. But just generally in, within Microsoft, there's a huge amount of AI development going on, and I'm pretty convinced that a lot of that will feed into the so-called biggest technological, sorry, generational leap of all time that they've been talking about, because it ain't going to be coming from throwing transistors at the at the problem. Uh, so I, I suspect that that is definitely what's going on there. Um, yeah, so it, it just makes sense. And we've only just really started there. And I think for Sony to, you know, kick off with upscaling is probably the best solution there. But remember, um, the machine learning silicon itself is general purpose hardware, can be used to do anything. So I suspect this is just the beginning. Um, I'm not, I'll, I'll defer to Alex on the image quality stuff, but um, <laughs> yes, I, I, I agree. 
um, we've got to see more PSSR though, right? Because um, you know we've only we've only really seen mm. in practice a few clips and an extended Final Fantasy VII Rebirth clip, which has to has to be said is is a very impressive. But on the flip side, looks that impressive because the base. Uh, PlayStation 5 is is relatively poor to what it could have been. So mm -hmm. we need to see much, much more on, on PSSR. 